This is the second day of a stay-at-home order for the state of Indiana. And I had planned to spend the day catching up on a little mending and maybe doing a little baking. But I woke up this morning to ants on my kitchen counter. So in this video, I'm going to war with ants. Keep watching. If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach traditional homemaking for today's woman. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get into it. I was so disgusted when I came downstairs this morning and I saw three ants on my kitchen counter. Now you might think, Three ants, that's not a big deal. But there were a couple of ants on the counter yesterday. And where there's one, there's more. And last year, the ants came in in the spring. And after I tried a couple of natural products and I wasn't satisfied, I had the hubby call someone out. He came out, he did his little thing, and the ants were gone. Well, this spring, we're looking at a little bit of a different story. The ants are back. But because of the stay-at-home order and being in a certain demographics, I really didn't want to have anyone new coming into the house. So I am determined to do away with these ants and I'm going to use natural products. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash down my kitchen counters, top and side, and even my kitchen table and chairs with vinegar. And then I'm going to... Um, and then I'm going to put out a little bit of an ant trap. My husband found something on YouTube that's supposed to be effective, so we'll see how that works. In the meantime, let's get this cleanup started. So I'm going to make up a solution of four ounces of vinegar and four ounces of water. And I'm going to use that to spray down my counter, my cabinets. I'm even going to spray my kitchen table. My husband was like, honey, why don't we just try one method first? Just try the vinegar and water, and if you're not happy with that, then we can try the other method. I don't know. I don't like seeing ants in my house. I don't mind seeing them outside. I don't like seeing them in the house. So I've got it labeled so I know what it is and I'm going to get to work. I'll start on this side first and then I'll move over there. And I'm also going to wipe down my dishwasher and even try to spray along the insides because last year I did find a little trail that I don't know if it was like under the counter or between the counter and the dishwasher so I'm going to try to hit everything. My spring kitchen vignette. So why does the vinegar work? Well, what we know is that the ants hate a strong odor. And the vinegar covers up the pheromones that the ants lay down. They lay down these pheromones so that they can lead to the food source, but then also get back to their home. And if you spray around the area where the ants actually live, like if there's like a little crack in the wall or something like that, and you spray into there, well, the ants won't come to that area or they won't come out of that area and hopefully you can starve the colony to death if they don't come out from anywhere else. But that's why vinegar works. Am I sounding a little crazy? Yes, but I can't stand bugs in the house.
So here I was just disinfecting my house last week. And today, I'm battling ants. Go figure. In case you're wondering, I set my Keurig on top of this little furniture slider, and then that way I can slide it in and out without having to lift it up every time because this puppy is heavy. So it allows me to just slide it back. So I can slide it in and slide it out. So I've got these countertops cleaned off. Now I'm gonna clean the countertops around this area here. I was looking at some things on the internet and it said sometimes they come in because they're looking for water, they're thirsty. So, and of course the kitchen is a good place to find water. So I'm gonna clean all these cabinets down here, particularly around the dishwasher, and then I'll clean the other side. When I've seen them come in around the dishwasher before, right between the cabinet and this little flangey where the dishwasher is attached. So I'll be sure to clean and spray down in that area there as well. This is nasty under here. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't expect to find that. I had no idea it could be so dirty under there. And I will admit, when I do clean the dishwasher, I don't think they get down here and clean under there. But, it got clean today. All right. Now for my young homemakers out there, please note, I thought I was doing a pretty good job of keeping my dishwasher clean, but there was an area there that I was missing. So when you are doing your zone cleaning and you pick something in your kitchen and you pick the dishwasher, don't forget to clean underneath here and underneath there because I forgot about those areas. And let me encourage you to get a pretty apron from when you're doing your cleaning and cooking because it can really help protect your clothing. And sometimes I just like putting them on. It's just so 1950. I'm channeling my inner June Cleaver. In case you guys are wondering, who the heck is June Cleaver? Well, there was this show on called Leave It to Beaver that everybody watched. It was a family show. And the mother's name was June, and she always wore a dress, high heels, and pearls. Now, really, how many women walk around the house cleaning and dusty with high heels, a dress, and pearls? And she always had a cute little, little apron on, that kind of thing. 
So when I say it's very 1950s, that's what I mean. But actually, when I am cleaning, I find that it is important to have an apron over my clothing because if I'm using bleach or something like that and I lean over onto something, well then I can get that on my clothing. Okay, now this is not what I would normally use to clean this cabinet. But since I'm trying to lay down a trail of vinegar, I'm using it today. So this is the last side of the cabinet that I need to get to right here. Because sometimes I've seen the ants come like from right around there. So, hopefully this will take care of it. Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. I got a FaceTime from my mom. She was in the rehab center at this time and very, very sick with pneumonia and managed to get some assistance to give me a call and I was so glad to talk with her because I can't always get her. The iPad isn't always where she can reach it or that she can answer it. So it was really good to speak with her and you saw how weak sounding her voice was. It's been several weeks since I actually filmed this video so she is home now and doing much much better but at that particular time she was very ill. And one of the things that we've been struggling with is getting her to eat the food at the rehab center. So I had made some chicken and noodles. She likes those. So I packed some of those up and put them in a bag and then also put some chicken broth in a to-go cup and I was going to have my husband run that out to the rehab center so she could have that for dinner today. So I tried to double bag it and sit it up so that it wouldn't tip over so that when he took it out there, everything would still be intact. So now it's time to start dinner and I was just making a quick stir fry. I had picked up this teriyaki chicken stir fry at Kroger. It was on sale or on the markdown shelf I should say. So I grabbed it and all I needed to do was add my own chicken. So I sliced my chicken up into bite-sized pieces and sauteed it in a little olive oil. Gave it a little seasoning with salt and pepper and the chicken was ready to go. And it really didn't take long to cook that chicken. When you cut them into bite-sized pieces, they cook pretty quickly. Then I cut up some onion, just roughly chopped it added it to the chicken. Got that in and out of the pot and then of course I added a little carrot. I always like to add carrot. I like the natural sweetness that comes with carrot when you add it to dishes. I found this sweet chili sauce on the Asian food aisle and it is delicious. It does have a little bit of heat to it, so I don't add very much, but just the dollop. It's packed with flavor, but it can be a little hot, so you don't want to add too much. And now it's time to add the veggies, but I needed to get that flavor packet out. There was like this little packet inside that had the teriyaki sauce in it. So 
So once the veggies were cooked, then I just added the teriyaki sauce to the vegetables and then cooked them down just a little bit more. And the kitchen was just smelling so good. And then once the veggies were all done, I added my chicken and carrot and onion back in. And, mm, mm, mm. and we like stir fry. We will go out to the Panda Express every now and then to pick up a meal or to eat in. But since we've been staying at home, I'm cooking everything. So I thought, let's do stir fry at home. And I serve this with rice on the side. We eat a lot of rice at my house. My husband likes that rice that you can just pop in the microwave for 90 seconds and then it's ready. And that's what we had tonight. Only this is the brown rice by Uncle Ben's. So dinner is served. Now it's time to start my after dinner cleanup routine and since I really didn't have a lot of dishes I thought I would be a dishwashing diva tonight and just give them all a good wash and rinse and then dry them and get them put away. I didn't want to run the dishwasher for so few items. And I find myself getting out my good dishes more and more. I love these gold plates and I have a few others that I really enjoy using. So I'm just making it a practice to just get some of them out and just use them. Doesn't have to be Sunday and doesn't have to be a special occasion. If we're not good enough to use them, who is? So once I got everything washed and rinsed, I thought, let's get these dried up and put away. And then it was time to clean the stove. And the stove was a hot mess because I had been cooking that stir fry. I use the Wegmans stovetop cleaner and I tell you what, that cleaner is all that and a bag of chips. It is amazing and how well it helps you to keep your glass stovetop under control. And you do need to use that scraper that comes with the little stovetop kit because you can get sugar and grease and other things baked on and it's important to get that off. And now it's time to shine my sink. I don't do a full sink shining here. All I'm doing is just cleaning it up, wiping it out, getting it dried up, and then switching out my towels. Well, I finally got things wrapped up here in the kitchen. I feel like it's taken me all day to take care of the things that I wanted to get done in the house today. The main thing was getting the counters cleaned and wiped down with the vinegar wash to try to get rid of the ants. And then of course I got dinner cooked and I finished up my after dinner routine, which includes wiping down the table, shining up my sink, and then of course cleaning the stove, especially since I made that stir fry. I had grease all over the place. So now I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to go sit down and uh, enjoy a movie with the hubbies. I hope you enjoyed this little slice of my life where I showed you what I've got going on for this second day of our stay at home order. Things didn't go quite as I had planned. However, I did get the counters wiped down with the vinegar wash as I planned to try to um, get rid of the ants so we'll see how that works. Got a little laundry done and then of course I got dinner cooked and got the after dinner routine taken care of which includes cleaning the sink, putting out fresh towels and then cleaning the stove. And the stove really needed cleaning considering it was a stir fry that I made and there was grease popped out all over the place. And if you like this video, be sure to come back and check out my stay at home day one. It was very interesting as well. And 
I will try to share with you just a little bit more as to what's going on with us as we continue to hunker down and stay at home and just try to stay safe. You might also want to check out my video on how to make homemade disinfectant, how to make hand sanitizer, and how to disinfect your kitchen the right way. And just so you know, I've raised three children and I've managed a home for more than 45 years. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you next time.